To find the oxidation numbers for each element in NaSCN, we'll use these rules. First off, there's no negative or positive sign after the compound here. So it is a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. When we look at this, sodium, that's in group one. So we know elements in group one have a plus one oxidation number. The S, C, and N, those are a little more difficult. We don't see those on our rules here. There is one way we can deal with this, and that's to give the most electronegative element the charge that it would have when it's an ion. So if we look at the periodic table, nitrogen is the most electronegative element here. So nitrogen, we're going to use its charge, 3 minus. So the oxidation number is going to be minus 3. Carbon and sulfur, the electronegativity value for both of those is really close. Turns out sulfur is a little bit more electronegative. So for sulfur here, we're going to have a minus 2. The carbon we don't know. So now we can set an equation up. So we have 1 minus 2 plus x minus 3. That's all going to equal the 0 there. x minus 4 equals 0. Add 4 to both sides. x equals a positive 4. So the oxidation number on the carbon here is going to be plus 4. So these are the oxidation numbers for each element here in NaSCN. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.